welcome to Book Talk. I'm Irene Concilia. Ruth Ware is a number one New York Times bestselling mystery writer, acclaimed by many to be the new Agatha Christie. Her spellbinding novels, The Woman in Cabin 10, The Lion Game, and In a Dark, Dark Room established her reputation as a master of the psychological thriller. Her latest book, The Death of Mrs. Westaway, is undoubtedly her best yet. 21-year-old Harriet Westaway, Hal for short, a down-on-her-luck tarot card reader, buried under tons of unpaid bills and adult responsibilities, receives an official-looking letter from a law firm bequeathing her a substantial inheritance from her grandmother. It's clearly a mistake because her grandparents have been dead for over 20 years and she has been on her own since her mother was killed in a car accident three years ago. But the mounting pressure of unpaid bills forces Hal into a difficult decision as she spends the last of her savings on a train ticket to attend Mrs. Westaway's funeral. After all, pretending to be her long-lost granddaughter might pay off with a few quid, and that can't hurt, right? She's met at the train station by the decedent's lawyer who accompanies her to the funeral where not a single tear is shed. Then, at the formal reading of the will, as the whole extended family is gathered in anxious anticipation, ready to reap the rewards of years of filial devotion, the entire bulk of the estate is left, and I quote, to my granddaughter, Harriet Westaway. How is this possible? Harding, the oldest of her three sons, the one least estranged from his mother, explodes in rage. She must have been insane. We'll contest this, he screams. Calmly and patiently, the lawyer pulls out the documents that validate this bequest. To sort this all out, the entire extended family is forced to stay in the blighted aging mansion over the weekend. Hal is put up in a dingy attic room that clearly served as maid's quarters in its day. The chill from the cracked window only adds to the eeriness of this modest chamber. But why are the locks on the outside of the door? Why do the windows have bars? And what is that faint etching in the glass that says, help me? As Hal wanders around the mansion into sections that are closed off, she overhears a conversation between Harding and his wife. He tells her, my mother was a bitter, poisonous woman. It's exactly like her to spread division from the grave. Her last letter to me ended with the quote by Louis XV, Après moi, le déluge. After me, the flood. If psychological thrillers are your cup of tea, then the death of Mrs. Westaway is for you. It's a good read, a great mystery, and even insightful into our human shortcomings and weaknesses. I give this novel four stars. Until next time, I'm Irene Concilia.